how me and my best friend was pregnant by the exact same man at the exact same time. And I never knew until she had a secret baby shower. So I was dating this dude for like three years. Like we were together for like three years and me and my best friend have been best friends for way before that, like 10 plus years, right? So <clears throat> um, we end up getting pregnant at the exact same time and she ends up coming up with the story. Like she had a one night stand. She don't know who her baby daddy is, all these other things. And like, you know, once I asked her, like, are you going to keep it? Because I'm never going to push anybody to go to the clinic and send their baby back to God. But I always ask because where is your mindset? So I asked her, like, are you keeping the baby? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, like, you know, you're going to be, you know what, you know what you can handle, right? So whatever, we both go through our pregnancy. We were so excited. We found out at the same time. And it's getting closer to like our like six month and it's time to start planning our baby shower. I have no fucking clue all the way up until this point that me and her, like, I, I don't question it, right? So, because, like, why would you be a weird bitch? So, at the six-month mark, when we start planning our baby shower, she's like, I'm just not going to have no baby shower. I've just been going through it mentally, emotionally. So, the whole time, I'm thinking that she's down and out because she's having a baby by this man, who, by somebody she don't know, right? Just, she's going to be a single mom. She set herself up for this. Like, she don't know who the baby daddy is. Nothing. So, I'm thinking that's why she's going through a whole time. The bitch going through it because we got the same baby daddy. Our mutual friends was like, oh, are you going to the baby shower? She told me she wasn't having a baby shower. That's how I'm going to motherfucking come. I'll pop up at the baby shower. Guess who at the baby shower cheesing? Oh, y'all want me to knock all this shit over? Not too much on my closure with this, y'all want me to part two. Now, boom, let me tell y'all how I got to the baby shower. So once I find out that she's having a baby shower, I check her location because Goof Troop didn't turn off her location right so i'm like oh best she the baby shower at her granny house so i pull up to her granny house not thinking nothing of it just like why are you being a weirdo right so when i pull up i see my baby daddy car because i know his license plate in the front yard so i already just stopped peep the scene so i'm like all right hold on before i even walk into this motherfucker let me go around the corner and i end up calling my cousins because we ride at dawn so I'll call my cousins. They're already on the way. They're like 20 minutes out. I'll call my brother and tell my brother, you pull up too because I already know me. And if this nigga is in this baby shower, I don't even know what he would be doing here. I already know I'm going to put my hands on somebody. And I shouldn't be putting my hands on nobody else's months. So we need reinforcements. I already don't get along with his mama. I don't get along with his sister. I do not fuck with his family. Right? Because they weird. I see his sister walking up. Oh, this is a family full of goofies. So I'm checking everybody's location and I see that they five minutes out. So I'm like, bet, let me walk up in here because I don't want nobody to know that I'm walking in on no BS. Like, they didn't need to know I was on bullshit, but I was on absolute bullshit. Immediately on bullshit once I seen that man car. Like, they don't even need to know what's up. So every, I walk in through the back gate and as soon as I walk in, I make eye contact with her and she just get, everybody look like they seen the ghost. I look my baby daddy dead in the face. He get up and sprint out the side gate. Oh, we gonna stand on business today. I, I, I can bet you that. I'd be Chase. Chase him till he run out of gas. I'm like, what's up? What my baby daddy doing here? And she like, oh, I'm so sorry. He told me he was gonna tell you. Something, I'm, it's not making sense. And you need to make it make sense right the fuck now. So she's like, he told me that he was going to tell you that we were having a baby. So the first thing I do is swing and hit her in her mouth. So as I'm swinging, because I'm not stopping, she's like, no. So now everybody's trying to get me up off of her. And so now my cousin's running. They just see that people got me by my arms. Oh, melee. Not too much on my clothes are lifted since y'all wanted to part two. Now, boom, let me tell y'all how I got to the baby shower. So once I find out that... She's having a baby shower. I check her location because Goof Troop didn't turn off her location, right? So I'm like, oh, bet she the baby shower at her granny house. So I pull up to her granny house, not thinking nothing of it. Just like, why are you being a weirdo, right? So when I pull up, I see my baby daddy car because I know his license plate in the front yard. So I already just stopped 
peep the scene. So I'm like, all right, hold on. Before I even walk into this motherfucker, let me go around the corner and I end up calling my cousins because we ride at dawn. So I'll call my cousins. They're already on the way. They're like 20 minutes out. I'll call my brother and tell my brother, you pull up too because I already know me. And if this nigga is in this baby shower, I don't even know what he would be doing here. I already know I'm going to put my hands on somebody. And I shouldn't be putting my hands on nobody at six months. So we need reinforcements. I already don't get along with his mama. I don't get along with his sister. I do not fuck with his family. Right? Because they weird. I see his sister walking up. Oh, this is a family full of goofies. Everybody knew but me. Y'all want Y'all y'all baby shower theme should have been a circus because it was a bunch of clowns. Melee. Instant. Instant mayhem. Instant chaos. So by the time whoever had my arm, which was I think his sister and his cousin, my cousins already came over and then knocked the Mario coins out their head because let her the fuck go. Right? So then she ended up running in the house and locking the door. So I couldn't even get to her no more. Don't worry about it though. So now I'm outside and my cousins, one of my cousins got her mama in the headlock because she was over there yapping, yapping her mouth. Shut up. His mama trying to come up like, Destiny, Destiny. I suggest you get out of my face because why are you here? And where's your son at? Because I'm going to knock his head off his shoulders like the Volturi did Carlisle. At this point, I don't know where my baby daddy done ran to and I'm so confused because did you think he was going to save you? I'm about to beat both y'all ass. My family comes from a long line of crash outs. Like, we've never been up. So as we all leaving, I give my cousin my car keys and I hop in the car with my other cousin because I parked up the street and I cannot run. So they have pulled right up into the front of the house. So I hop in the car with my cousin. So I'm calling my brother because he never came in. I'm like, I'm like, where y'all where y'all? He's like, we seen that nigga running out and he hopped in the car. So we chase we we chasing him down right now. Y'all, they on the freeway following him. He trying to get away. So I'm like, y'all, just dead it. Just just let it go. He gotta come home. <laughs> Family meeting at my house. So now at this point, I'm already knowing people about to try to start acting like I'm um, the problem. Like, oh, Destiny was tripping. Oh, she was tripping. She came in here and did all this, did all this. So now I'm at home trying to trying to process because I still have not processed everything. So me and my cousins all go to my house and have a family meeting because I hope y'all beat everybody the fuck up that I couldn't get to. And I need to know who was there because I didn't pay attention to what homegirls was there who was just at my baby shower yesterday bringing a gift. She was just in my baby shower yesterday with a gift. So now I'm hurt. So after the chaos and after the mayhem, now the hurt is starting to set in because there's no way that my best friend of 10 years is telling me that she's about to have a baby by the same man I'm about to have a baby by. Because at the end of the day, uh, my friendship is way more important than my relationship with any nigga. And y'all, this was my friend. Like I never expected, I never seen it coming. And even when they was around each other, it was never like that because like, I'm not a weird bitch. So none of my homies have to watch me around that man. Cause I don't want your man, especially after I hear and see the things that he do for you. So regardless of the, if you my friend and you hear me, even if I'm bragging on the sex, anything like that, that do not give y'all raggedy bitches the right to go try it out for yourself. So what you saying? You let a nigga fuck cause he was fly? Because from our knowledge and us laughing at ha ha and kiki and you have been laughing at about his mama wigs right along with me and his grandma dentures but you gonna go have a baby and they all at the baby shower ha ha and kiki and so now like i am devastated i don't know what to do come to find out i'm thinking we she got pregnant after me she two weeks pregnant she two weeks in front of me so you got her pregnant and then got me pregnant well, okay. I mind you, I still ain't talked to him. I still have not talked to him. So I'm just processing all this, processing all this. And I'm like, well, when did this happen? And around what time frame? When did y'all even start fucking around with each other? So she was like, it was about a year ago. We was already two years into our relationship. So two years ago, I'm just going back and I'm like, so it was around the time that you and your mom was getting into it. And I was, I was allowing you just to come stay at my house. Mind you, me and my dude didn't live together at this time. So he was just in and out too. 
Like, so it was just one day that she needed to go over there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, go over there. He over there. He'll open the door for you or whatever. I'm not a weird bitch. So I've never thought that I would have to watch my best friend of 10 years around my man, especially when you need me. Like, especially when I'm trying to help you have a better situation right now and get a peace of mind. You gonna get a peace of mind? So after me and my cousins is there, we sat at my house for a couple hours just in case the police came. We were already all in one spot, but they never came. Nobody ever caught the police because they know that they was dead ass fucking wrong. So fast forward to the next day. I was supposed to be at work yesterday. And I pull up to this girl granny house at a baby shower and you there and you run? I'm Ike. Still have no clue where this nigga went because I told my brother to just stop following him right so he ended up just coming to the house so during our family meeting we are going over what the fuck had happened we had went over all the gifts and now I'm reading all the names of the people who bought the gifts y'all his mama done bought the girl a gift his aunties his cousins his um sisters this girl was supposed to be the god mom bitch you turned out to be the step mama so I'm processing shit because y'all, this girl is like my best friend. I was supposed to be the godmom to her baby. And now I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck did this go on under my nose? Like I had no idea, blindsided. I'm like, the way y'all is in these comments is how I was, confused as fuck and I got questions. But lucky for y'all, I ask questions because one thing about me, you're going to have to make shit make sense. I'm going to be able to play my role enough. Because I beat your ass once. And I'm really going to beat your ass when you... I was really going to beat her ass when she had that baby. I wasn't going to hurt nobody, child. I still my baby sibling. So the next day, she's blowing my phone the fuck up. I'm not answering. I, I went a whole day with her blowing my phone up. Because like at the end of the day, how could you do some weird shit like that to me? Not you, Ebony, from the Players Club. I'm ignoring them for like two days straight, everybody. If you wasn't with, uh, with me whooping ass at that baby shower, I had nothing to say to you. If you wasn't my family, I had nothing to say to you. Everybody, y'all some weird motherfuckers. I peep game and I want everybody fade when I drop this baby. And that's just what it's going to be. And I don't care. And I'm going to stand on that. So when a bitch come, when I finally answer the phone, the first thing she's going to say is, and your cousin put my mama in a headlock. Bitch, we have bigger fish to fucking fry. So after me and my cousins is there, we sat at my house for a couple hours just in case the police came. We were already all in one spot, but they never came. Nobody ever caught the police because they know that they was dead ass fucking wrong. So fast forward to the next day. I was supposed to be at work yesterday. And I pull up to this girl granny house at a baby shower and you there and you run? I'm Ike, still have no clue where this nigga went because i told my brother to just stop following him right so he ended up just coming to the house so during our family meeting we are going over what the fuck had happened we had went over all the gifts and now i'm reading all the names of the people who bought the gifts y'all his mama done bought the girl a gift his aunties his cousins his um sisters this girl was supposed to be the god mom bitch you turned out to be the step mama so I'm processing shit because y'all, this girl is like my best friend. I was supposed to be the godmom to her baby. And now I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck did this go on under my nose? Like I had no idea, blindsided. I'm like, the way y'all is in these comments is how I was, confused as fuck and I got questions. But lucky for y'all, I ask questions because one thing about me, you're going to have to make shit make sense. I'm going to be able to play my role enough. Because I beat your ass once. And I'm really going to beat your ass when you... I was really going to beat her ass when she had that baby. I wasn't going to hurt nobody, child. I still my baby sibling. So, so now I'm hurt and devastated. I don't give a fuck about my cousin putting your mama in no headlock. She should have did more. And But now I'm hurt and I'm sad. So now it's like moving past the anger and everything that happened at the baby shower because now we need to get down to the bottom of this. Why would you do anything to hurt me and I'm your best friend of 10 years? Fuck him. 
Why would you as my friend and know everything that I've been through and know everything that he put me through? So I really can't even wrap my head around the fact that you would even get pregnant by this man. So basically, nothing is making sense on the phone with her. Like, she's trying to explain to me how she's so sorry. I don't give a fuck about an apology. No apology is going to fix this. We're no longer going to be friends. But I'm going to sit on this phone. I'm going to listen to everything you got to tell me. So why did you lie about your baby shower? Why did you tell me that you were not having a baby shower? And why the fuck would you have a baby shower the day after? And why in the fuck did nobody tell me? Like y'all was really just playing in my face. Which is why I resulted into what I did at the baby shower. And I apologize because looking back, that was not the route that I should have taken. I should not have stolen all your gifts. You're not getting them back. But that was wrong. I was wrong for that. But my reaction, and but like, I'm telling her, like, can you imagine pulling up to your best friend baby shower and you see your man car out there and then you walk in and he got his hand on your stomach? Smiling. Oh, okay. So we end up having that conversation and it really got us nowhere because it was really a lot of her not trying to take no accountability for what she did and not, and not thinking that she was wrong and really trying to put the blame on him. So now I'm asking her, like, was it worth it? Was it worth a 10-year friendship having a baby by somebody who you don't even know is going to be there? First of all, then she throws in this plot twist. I didn't know if it was him or not. Not you're a whore. Mind y'all, all this is happening and we're I'm still we're still six months pregnant, six and a half months pregnant, going into our seventh month. We still have so much more time in between this baby shower and the birth of the baby. From that day that me and her talked, no more communication has been had until later, after the baby is born. We gonna get to that. So me and her stopped talking and now fast forward because I still have not talked to him in like, now we're on like day four. I have not talked to him or heard from him. He calls me. Weird <laughs> So I hope y'all didn't think I was gonna answer on the first ring because he had me fucked up. This is day four. This is day four. What are you even calling me for? I answered on the fifth. So when I finally answered the phone, no caller ID because homie, you're blocked. I blocked him immediately after I sent out a mass group text to him, his mama and his sisters and his granny calling them all some weird ass bitches. Y'all all some weird ass bitches that y'all knew what was going on and y'all was just smiling in my face at my baby shower the day before and bringing my baby gifts. Now all the gifts, you might as well have just bought the gifts you was gonna get it out, bitch, to my baby shower because I got them now. Now he like, you blocked me. I'm so sorry, Destiny. I did not want you to find out like this. Bitch, how the fuck did you want me to find out? Now I'm in straight bitch mode because you should have caught me four days ago, bitch. Now you done gave me time to let my sadness turn into anger. So now you about to get all this smoke. Cause how the fuck did this even fucking happen? You having project twins, Jody? So he so now I'm asking questions, y'all. He immediately starts crying. I don't have I don't want to hear shit you have to say. You don't have shit to say. When that girl dropped that baby, I'ma beat her ass. And I dare you to be at the hospital when she delivers. I can't believe you doing me like this. You really was acting like you didn't even want to be with me. Not the gaslighting. Oh my God. He crying, begging, pleading. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want her. It was an accident. It was a mistake. You're a mistake. Now I'm like, so why? Why did you do it? Like what? What in your right fucking mind made you say, you know what? Yeah, I'm about to fuck with this girl. Did did y'all not talk about getting an abortion? He's like, she didn't tell me she was pregnant until she was already four months. So she tricked your goofy ass. Do you think that this y'all know? I'm like, so you, so I hope you're going to get a DNA test because if she didn't tell you till she was four months pregnant, why the fuck you think that is? The fact that this girl would would even fuck with you and that's my that was my best friend of 10 years you think that are you so you stupid then i needed to understand what prompted his goofy ass to take his dumb stupid raggedy ass over there to that baby shower and start cheesing y'all was in love oh y'all was in love but you telling me she a mistake over here crying crocodile tears i like 
So I'm like, who initiated it? How did this start? She came on to me. Okay. So you're saying she came on to you and she's saying that you came on to her. So whose teeth do I need to knock out first? You think it's cool to play in my face? Like you think this cool? You think cause I'm six months, this over? Cause I have a compartment in my head labeled weird shit and I promise I will not forget this. So I hope y'all didn't think I was gonna answer on the first ring. Cause he had me fucked up. This is day four. This is day four. Let's address the <laughs> y'all messy y'all messy y'all messy y'all messy Kava y'all I'm excited I'm excited okay first of all let's address some things real quick why well, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about my closure lifting I really do not Crying, paragraphs, crying, paragraphs, crying, paragraphs. No, you can, let me tell y'all something. No matter how many times I wanted to give in, let me tell y'all who was always on my side, telling me how much of a dumb bitch I would be. My cousins. Group chat because they can't fucking believe I'm about to hear out anything he has to say, y'all. When I tell y'all from the day of the baby shower, they was at my house standing on 10 waiting for him to come back. Oh, they could not wait. They was they were still ready to fight. I think my cousins was arguing with her mama and cousins and them on Facebook. Y'all not getting the gifts back. Day one, when I left that baby shower and we went through all them gifts, they was at my house with me, waiting, standing 10 toes down. They was ready. As mad as y'all are in these comments, they was mad at my house on the couch in real time, ready to fight, still. But they had to go home, and when they went home, now we're into like two weeks later. So at this time, I've entered my seventh month. He had ended up coming over because like, I be needing to understand. I be needing to look you in your face to understand. I don't understand why anybody, the gifts are gone. I don't even know why he had the audacity to say anything to me about them gifts, I really almost popped them in his lips. You standing up for this bitch? I'm confused. I've been to, I took them gifts back, they was ugly. I returned them and got my baby some stuff. So now I'm getting down to the more important things. I'm like, so long, how long, if you knew I four months and we seven, that means you've known for three months. When did you think you were gonna tell me? Well, I had told my mom and them and they had told me just don't tell you. And that's the reason you a bitch. So now I'm like, oh, his mama and everybody knew, but y'all think that I'm gonna be comfortable with y'all around my baby when my baby get here? What type of, what type of weirdo shit operation y'all got going on? So once I peep all the weird shit going on, I decided that I just need to separate myself and I need to go no contact for the rest of this pregnancy. Because in order for me to get my mental right, I know I can't deal with this bullshit. And if I, and once I don't trust you, it's, it's a done. I just, like, how am I supposed to believe you would never do that to me again? Like, you want me to believe that for real in my mind? I don't believe that. So <clears throat> he wanted his family back real, real bad. And for y'all that think I didn't stand 10 toes down, I did. We did not get back together. My cousins was my baby daddy. We kept it pushing until we got to the ninth month. So now, boom, fast forward. That's two That's two months that there was no contact. He didn't know what was going on. I don't got time. You didn't give a fuck about me or this baby when you was doing the bu weird bullshit that you was doing. So don't act like you care now. So I'm gonna just protect my peace and my child. And that's what I decided to do. Fast forward to the night that I went into labor and I had to call him. I already had peeped and found out though that that girl had her baby two weeks before me before i even went into labor i already had knew but i didn't say nothing because oh, okay i'm maury who's this shit y'all i'm yelling so crystal and i can't even live my normal life because y'all feel like i should be uploading these videos back to back to back y'all don't treat netflix like this y'all don't treat um power like this don't do me like that
the next video will be uploaded by 4.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for the people on the East Coast who think that I'm on their time. I'm not on your time. A DNA test was done. I made sure of it. I didn't give a damn. Y'all keep saying how'd y'all get the gifts? When she was in, when she had ran in the house and locked herself in the house after I had popped her in her mouth, I already had made up my mind, y'all. My mind, I just, my mind just goes, okay? So I already had made up my mind. We taking all of this shit. I'm knocking everything over. Y'all don't think I knocked everything over? Food, candy table, gift table. We gonna knock that over, but it's gonna be empty. Grab all this shit, y'all. I'm yelling, get the gifts. Get the gifts. Okay, we're going to jail. We're going to jail. Y'all, we got to get up out of here. Everybody grab some gifts and everybody grab gifts. What you mean? They came and we already knew the assignment. It, it, it don't take much. We be on one accord. We be on one accord. One band, one sound. And I'll, and I'll leave. Trust me. I, I don't want to be there. Okay, y'all uploaded them wrong. I meant to put part five, but it really says part six. And then part six says the real part six. Let me tell y'all something. I have to go clock the fuck in. Okay, I gotta go work. So I can't be on here giving y'all parts after parts after parts. Do me a favor, cash out me some money so I can leave early and give y'all all the parts y'all want. How many parts y'all want, a hundred? Pay for me to leave work early. And I'll, and I'll leave, trust me, I, I don't wanna. Welcome to my audio book. This is not happening in real time. Y'all have to learn how to mind people's business. I don't mind y'all being in my business. I will give y'all all the tea. But one thing you will not do is try to go look and search and harass anybody. This is not a story happening in real time. We can ha ha and kiki in these comments and talk bad about people in these comments, but we will not go harass nobody outside of this platform space. Y'all not gonna find him anyways. Now the baby daddy I'm talking about, his name is Reed. Okay, that is his real name. His name is Reed and we gonna start addressing him as such. Just in case y'all wanna be da -da 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 -da, Inspector Gadget and go harass the wrong person. I'm talking about Reed. Now that we got that out of the way. If y'all want chapter seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, y'all gonna stop talking about my hair. I don't give a fuck. So Crystal ended up having her baby a week early. I ended up having my baby right on time, like right at the mark, right? So our babies are now three weeks apart. Everybody was at the hospital. Her mama was, his mama was at the hospital. His sisters was at the hospital. His granny was at the hospital. Just real fucking fake. Guess who wasn't at the hospital though? Him. Because during no contact, he's still trying to get his family back. He's still like, I, need, I want my family back. Please, I want to try. I want to try y'all sending me gifts. He talking about, I know I need to build the baby crib. My brother already did it, bitch. So he knew better than to be at that birth, right? Which means the baby has his last name, but his name is not on that birth certificate because I, I double, I double dog dare you. I don't care if you ain't talked to me in 15 months. I dare you. Mind y'all, we was gonna name our babies the same middle name. Change that motherfucker. So I'm already peeping all of this. They already posted everything on Facebook. I'm seeing the pictures. Oh, y'all holding the little baby. I'm not gonna call that baby ugly, but I'm not gonna call the baby cute. I did feel a little guilt. And I, I did have to ask God for forgiveness because I didn't have to steal that baby gifts. That baby really was an innocent bystander in all this. But your mama is a fucking whore. So I peeped all of this before I even got into labor. Mind y'all, me and him have went no contact, but I'm never gonna be raggedy because I know that you my baby daddy for sure. So I call him and I'm like, he like, hello, I'm on my way to the hospital. All right, Des, I just, are, are you sure? Click, I'm on my way to the hospital. Are you pulling up or not? I don't wanna talk to you. I don't wanna skate with you. I don't wanna kick it with you. I don't wanna do nothing. We got in common. Is this, we just related to the same baby. So now he in there and I'm just asking him questions. So I'm like, so did you go see the baby? And he like, yeah. And I don't expect him to be no deadbeat because you lay down and make a baby. You need to make sure that you're a father to that child. Even though you raggedy as every, all the fucks in the world, you're raggedy. But you need to go, you need to go be a good dad. Like that's the least you could fucking do is be a good dad. You're raggedy in all aspects of being a man. So be a great dad. So 
whatever, I'm in labor. I'm only in labor for like 12 hours. So when the baby comes, the, he looked me dead in my face and was like, so are we still gonna name him a junior? I don't. Mama, baby, daddy's maybe. Leave me a fuck alone. Compartment in my head labeled weird shit. So everything that I'm seeing, I'm just storing because I'm not gonna forget shit. Now, I had the baby. Fast forward. Fast forward for about, the baby's about three months. I don't see nobody. I'm just in mom mode. So like, I don't got time. I don't got time. I don't got time, right? So fast forward three months and everybody thinks shit, shit sweet. He, he come see my baby, but like, we're literally co-parents. I do not play that. Um, we got to be, be together to co-parent. Come get, come, come get your baby. And then bring my baby to fuck back. Bye. I don't have time. I'm trying to go outside. So in this three months of time, I guess they ended up falling out. Because some dude had ended up writing him on Facebook like, I seen the baby and I just want you to know that I feel like the baby looked like my daughter. And I'm going to get a DNA test. And I want to get a DNA test because me and her was messing around. And she, she had hit me up and told me that maybe I was the dad. Mind y'all, he telling me all this because he's still trying to get his family back. Like, I really don't give a fuck, but I'm nosy. So what? Because regardless, I was going to make him get a DNA test, but I had to stand on... I couldn't make him at that point because I didn't want him to, to even give him any hope of getting his family back together. Because, like I said, we're just related to the same baby. But I'm also just nosy and also like... You shouldn't be taking care of no kid that's not yours. And so before he could get even get the DNA test, the other dude, she already had tried to file for child support. But since he did not sign the birth certificate, she had to get a DNA test through child support. So they got the DNA test. Now we in we going into the results come back like now we four months in and the DNA test results came in. And some writers over there. So let's fast forward two years real quick. And remember when I told y'all I got a compartment in my head labeled weird shit and I don't forget nothing. So two years pass and everybody think everything died down and she posts her man. Now y'all also remember when I told y'all I had cousins that ride at dawn? I sent some riders over there. And now it's time for your chest to hurt. And regardless of what the results were, it was up. Like I was, it, I, it was ne and stuck. It was never anything other than that because you like, you, you betrayed me. You went behind my back and you did a whole bunch of foul stuff. And you think that I'm just going to forget about it? I'm going to forgive you for me, but forget? I'm going to get my lick back. I'm going to get my lick back every time. What did you do all this for? All of this everything that she did was done for nothing everything that he did he lost his family he was crying blowing my phone up no caller id stop calling me you're not getting your family back i had to do so much healing and growing then i was me and my cousin still in the midst of it getting into it with the family because now they got out to say uh-uh stand 10 toes down why y'all getting into it with her that was y'all best friend remember y'all was at the baby shower y'all bought her gifts y'all should be thanking me that I took him. You welcome. That you didn't give a stranger danger baby them gifts. I'm talking about TT baby. Maybe. Seren and he. He is not the dad. That man was right. That baby looked like his daughter. And it ain't my place to be messy and tell nobody business. I promise I'm not here to tell nobody business of mine, but I did hear it through the grapevine because you know we did have mutual friends. The only weird bitch that knew along with that weird bitch was her other friend that she was really close to who I didn't fuck with anyways. I, I'm really, I could peep energy and just because that's your friend don't mean they gotta be my friend. Like we could be friends, but I don't gotta be that bitch friend. And that was why he ended up having to take her to court and file for 50-50 because after the DNA test came back, she was like, I'm not giving you my baby. You don't know the baby. It's your fault he don't know the baby. It's your fault he don't know the baby. So yeah. I don't know why y'all think I'll be sitting here telling y'all anything. 
if that was his baby. <laughs> Y'all see there's a thin line between love and hate? Hold on, because somebody in my comments must know my life better than me. And I think they think that the results is going to change. So let me redo it like they said. They said I still have time to redo it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And when it comes to four-month-old Kaden, Reed, you are not the father. Like, he still was not the dad. He still was trying to get back with me. Yes, I did do a lot of things that I, prob that I probably shouldn't have done. Like, yes, I did bust the window. Yes, I did flatten three of his tires because if you flatten all four, he can claim an insurance claim, FYI. Yes, I did do that. Yes, me and my cousins went and TP'd his mama house. Yes, me and my cousin went and knocked his mama mailbox over. Yes, we were doing childish things and would I do, would I, do I take any of it back? No, would I do it again? Absolutely. And I also did find a message in my baby daddy phone. And before y'all think that I went through his phone, I did not go through his phone. He had ended up giving it to me and I was looking for something and I ended up in the messages. I don't even know how I got there. She texted him talking about, I just want to apologize. I never meant to hurt you. I really thought that this was um, yo baby. I really thought we had something special. This, this, that, and the other. And he going to, he going to react to the message with a heart. And that's when I reacted and karate chopped him right in his neck. Cause I will rip your lips off your face. I, I was pissed the fuck off because y'all did all of this shit for nothing. Literally all the hurt that was caused was for no reason. All because you wanted this man to be your baby daddy and why he's raggedy and you knew that. If I could run, I would. Now everybody's trying to apologize to me, but y'all already move weird. You already move weird. Once you're a certified weirdo to me, there's no coming back from that. Like, keep your apology. Please keep your apology because it's not for nobody but you. I don't want it. Story time on why my cousin really put that girl mama in the hair lot. Oh. Um, we're all gonna pull up. All cousins, we're pulling up. We ride at dawn. Y'all lucky we only call our cousins because if we get to calling the uncles and the mamas, oh, it's gonna be... I'm a long line of crash house. Like, I'm not playing. We're gonna jump you. I promise. My cousin called on three-way, right? And she like, she in the bathroom. She like, y'all, I need y'all to hurry up and get over here. I just got out of hell like y'all. Finally got out of it. And I ran to the bathroom, locked myself in the bathroom. I need y'all to hurry up and get over here, right? So we like, what? So as she's talking, we hop up and I'm like, what? First of all, <laughs> why the fuck did he have you in a headlock? How did you get there? He hears him beating on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Open the door. Open the door. Like, you think this is a game? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, he's, it's up. So I'm all right, just stay on the phone over the outside the door, just losing his mind. I just hear him. I just lose his, I just hear his mind and his sound judgment just leave every sentence he talking. When you get out here, oh, you think I care about Joe? You better call the police. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> Girl, he's going to. I'm gonna knock you between the washer and the dryer. I'm like, what did you do? Like, what did you do? And she like, remember when I told y'all we had that threesome? Yeah. Well, after me and the girl start kept messing around and he was supposed to be at work and I guess he got off early. And when he came home, me and her was in the bed. So you deserve that hair lock. No, y'all, I did not beat that girl up again. Like, once I beat her up and stole her baby gifts, and I did it the first time, there's just no need for me to continue to fight you. Once you show me you scary and you a weirdo, why would I continue to try to beat you up? And I already did, and you already showed me like you scared. There's no point. Because you reap what you sow. Karma is a bitch. And it's always going to come back around. And if karma don't work fast enough, I'm going to do something like send my cousins over there. <laughs> but no, I did not I did not continuously beat her up. Y'all told y'all life whooped her ass for me. He wasn't the baby daddy. And then you got dragged through court by the real baby daddy because you were trying to keep him from seeing his baby weirdos she's a weirdo 
but you can't understand weird. So, like, and I forgave her. She tried to be my friend. She was calling, texting, calling, texting, like, trying to say how sorry she was. She was in a bad spot. She just, she, I don't understand. No, I don't fucking understand why you would be a weirdo and why you would do something like that to me because I would never do nothing like that to you. But I'm a good friend and you just showed me you wasn't. So, and once you lose my trust, I don't know how you're going to get it back. I don't know. Yeah, fuck them niggas. <laughs> Bitch, I'm down with no limit. I ride for the cause. I'm the nigga on the tank with the big fucking balls. And if anybody fuck with Snoop Dogg and Dog, I'ma make his niggas. For his name on the wall and everywhere I go I got Mr. Magic Because I know that nigga don't care He'll have that red shit pouring out your head Cause nigga in it fucking time nigga in it fucking well Make him bleed is the motto that's